Welcome. Today's lesson is going to be on sheep parts. Um, what I really want to do to start with today is I want to explain to you some of the parts that you need to look for when you're evaluating livestock for your SAE projects. We're going to start back here at the dock, which actually was the tail at some point. And uh, the reason that farmers and, and ranchers will cut off the dock is because uh, it's kind of a health issue and all the manure and things can get caught, so they dock them. So this is the dock. Now when you're evaluating livestock, you want to start in the back end here. This is called the hind saddle or rump. At the very top of it should be the dock. If the dock is way down, then it, it just does not have the musculature that you're looking for. But when we look at the hind saddle, we want it to be uh, even, we want it to be wide, and we want it to be able to blend right in with the rest of it. And then when we get back to here, this piece, uh, this part right here to here is called the loin. These are some of the most expensive cuts. You want to see the loin extremely wide and long. And then, of course, very muscular right down here because these are the, the best cuts of meat. Then as we uh, move on from the loin, over here is the shoulder. We have the top of the shoulder uh, right here, and it's also part of the rack. The rack is basically where all of the ribs come from, and that is another expensive cup that they call the rack of lamb. So Miss Smith, though, is going to come back over here and uh, just show you the name of the parts one more time. All right, so for your animal science class, we really want you to understand where the parts are on the sheep and some key terminology. So as Mr. Delsol started with the dock, here we have our dock card, and we'll very gently tape it onto the dock of our nice model U. So our dock is here. There you go. Doing great. All right, and after the dock, he then talked about the rump area or hind saddle. Then we have our expensive moneymaker, the loin. Let me find my card here. There we go. So, loin. And then moving up, we have the rack. So the rack, right in front of the loin. All right, and that's dock, rump, loin, and rack. Moving on to the head region. Let me get some more tape. Thank you, Miss, Miss Smith. Now let's take a look at the front end of our animal. And even though these are cuts, they're still very important in terms of the quality of the lamb that, that you're getting. One of the things we're going to look at here is the neck. The neck should, of course, blend it very well right into the um, uh, to the shoulder area. Also, have nice a smooth transition basically from um, the head um, to the brisket that we'll get uh, uh, get an opportunity to look at in just a second. So this is called the neck. And then, not that this really matters too much, but you need to, to understand, especially on a lot of the sheep that have horns, this right here is called the pole. This one does not have horns because it is a Hampshire uh, Suffolk cross. You're not going to see, but you will see where horns may have been uh, at some point in time in their uh, genetics. Then when we take a look at especially how you handle and hold the sheep, just like Ann is doing here, uh, this is called the face, this part right here, obviously. Now, depending on the breed, they'll have either some wool or no wool. There's a variety, but Hampshire's in particular, they have this eye bar right here. And of course, the wool that kind of comes down around their eyes. You have to be very careful about that when you're uh, shearing. You want to allow them to have plenty of good eyesight and get some of this uh, wool off the ear. So we have our neck, we have our face, uh, we have basically the forehead kind of where this nose is, and then we have our nostrils. And this is a good place where you can actually look to see if they have colds or any other kinds of uh, maybe abnormalities uh, here in the nose. And then, of course, we have the mouth. And when we uh, open the mouth, we use our fingers kind of like this so we can see the teeth. And that's for another uh, video as far as checking teeth and health of your particular animal. So I'm going to let Miss Smith go over all of the parts of the head and the neck. 
thing, do you? All right. So for our keywords for the head and neck region, again, we have neck. Let's tape it on here. Next, we have the pole. This one. <laughs> I know. Probably won't tape the rest of her face. But keywords are forehead, just like for all of us. Forehead there, I won't tape it on her, but no, that's important. Keyword for animal science. Then we have the face, general region. Again, you know where the face is. Nostrils, definitely won't be taping the nostrils. <laughs> want her to breathe. Nostrils will go there, right by the nose. Then we have the mouth, which I just had. Yay. Mouth, as you know, very important. Right below the nostrils. And then that's it for our head and neck region.